Tonight, a five-year-old boy is in the ICU after suffering major injuries from a hit-and-run crash in Indio. News Channel 3's Shelby Nelson has the exclusive interview with, her, with his father on his son's condition. The victim of that hit-and-run crash is a five-year-old boy by the name of Elias. This is the exact location where he was airlifted to Riverside, and his father has not left his bedside. I truly am. Um, what do I want this to happen to anybody? An emotional day for Rafael Beltran. He's been watching over his son Elias, now hospitalized and hooked up to a ventilator. Right now he's more stable. He does need a blood transplant. And he does have uh, fractures in his body, which is in the spine and in his right shoulder. Elias was airlifted to Riverside late Thursday afternoon from Indio. That's after he and his mother were involved in a crash on Fred Waring Drive in Indio Boulevard. The other driver took off. I was working. I just received a call from my wife. Hey, um, they crashed me. I'm like, no, really? How? Beltran's wife is now home from the hospital. <laughs> Recent video showing a happy little Elias. The family now worried about the youngest of their two sons. Have you spoken with your son at all? Has he woken up? Actually, I got to see him. How was that? Just very painful, you know? He's a strong little kid. I just, you know, hoping yeah. he could push through it and sooner or later he'll be on our way home. Preliminary information uh, is that it was a Hispanic male adult. Uh, wearing all dark clothing, leaving the scene of the traffic collision. Benjamin we thrown with the Indio Police Department says they are following up on lots of information now coming in. As of right now, we're still trying to confirm who that was, get information that were their whereabouts. The best thing to do right now is just to call us and turn yourself in. Now a message for the person behind his son's injuries. Man up and turn yourself in, you know. In Indio, Shelby Nelson, News Channel 3. Tough to see that. Police describe the suspect vehicle as a black Toyota Highlander. If you witness the crash or have any information for investigators, we have their contact information on our website, KESQ.com.